Ha ha, oui oui, mesdames and messieurs, baguette and croissant and other French words. Okay, welcome to another edition of the Halloween Horror Movie Marathon. Tonight we watched The Monk. We it's did. a French movie about a monk. A lot of foreign films this year. Yup. Let's get into this acting. I give it a four. Even though I had no idea what the heck they were saying, and I was reading the subtitles, and I wasn't watching what they were doing because I was reading the subtitles, I thought it was pretty dang good. All right, after a while, reading them becomes second nature, and you can still watch and kind of pay attention. I enjoyed it, though. Well, they were good acting. It was believable, um, I suppose. Yeah, I'd say the same. I'd definitely give it a four. The acting was definitely above average. It was, it was very good. I believed everyone in their roles. I thought everyone did a great job, even like the minor characters. There wasn't any that were, you know, just corny or unbelievable or bad. It was definitely good. Four. Effects. Okay, okay, like, no. Mm. A two? There weren't really any? Mm. I don't know. I'm thinking like the angel girl. The angel girl? Remember the one, the girl that appeared in the vision in the graveyard? Oh, the ghost? Yeah, there you go. And that was pretty much the only effect. <laughs> yeah, so would um, you. I'd give it a three. I mean, it was average for the tiny amount of stuff they had. None of it, it was bad. I mean, they didn't have effects, mostly, but for the ones they did, they were all right, so. Three. Uh, story. <sighs> I'm going to give it a four. I know that sounds surprising, but if you think of this just as a movie and as a story, it's good. Like, it's not a horror movie. That's the first thing. I, I don't know how or why these movies that are not horror keep ending up on my lists, but it was not a horror movie. But that aside, it was it was a good drama. Like it had a good story to tell. It was a unique movie. It was it was good. You know, I wasn't necessarily bored. I mean, it was maybe a bit slow, but it fit with the story. It wasn't unbearable. I, I thought it was decent. I thought it did a good job at telling a good story, and I liked it. So I'll give it a four. I'm going to give it a three. It was intriguing. It had its moments, but overall, it's a little slow-paced for me. Um, but it was fine. You know, it wasn't the greatest. wasn't the worst. It was just it was it was an average movie for me. You know, uh -huh. that's fair. Like I said, it's not a scary movie. It was more no. of a romantic thriller drama. Yeah, I wouldn't even call it thriller. something romantic I really drama. Know. I wouldn't even call it romantic. I would just call it a drama. <laughs> it's a movie. It's yeah. a three. Um, that last scare factor is definitely a one. There was nothing scary in the movie. Um, I can't even think of any real, like, scary imagery. I mean, I guess the one guy when he got killed from the gargoyle, but nothing here that would really be scary. I'm giving it a one. You seem torn on that, though. I mean, I'll give it a two. I liked Valerio's mask. That was, that had that was a cool. creep factor in the way it's, that, uh, he, she... Spoiler alert! Stood in the shadows. Uh, you know, the, the uh, graveyard looks really too. cool. Where the graveyard went down into the grave. It had, it had some good creepy visual imagery. The guy that played Satan at the end, I mean, did a good job on the role. Although, still, I'm sorry, but the best portrayal of Satan is uh, Lou in Constantine. He's just perfect in that role. In the TV show or in the movie? The movie. Oh. So overall, the movie got a little over two and a half. So rounds up to three. Which, I mean, that's fair. It's average. It's it's not a bad movie, but it's not necessarily a great one. I yeah. Mean, if you've got some time to kill and you're not expecting horror, it, it's maybe worth a watch. It's not it's not bad. You won't hate it. Um, not the best movie in the world. Don't go out of your way to buy it or anything. But, you know, as a red, blo uh, red box or a Netflix and chill kind of thing, go for it. Yeah, hey, if incest is your thing, well, yeah, there's that, but... That really did uh, remind me of a movie I watched, I don't know, I think it was a couple years ago, but Devil's Advocate, where it's kind of the same story. The devil's trying to trick this one guy into sleeping with his sister. I know all about it, but I've never seen it. Very good movie. But, uh, yeah, same kind of ending here. Well, no, different kind of ending, because in here he actually did it. So, there you go. Um, but, yeah, that's it for this one. Tune in again tomorrow night, and we'll have yet another movie. Woohoo! Bye!